So you guys remember that spot where I went and I randomly caught a smallmouth bass? Smallmouth? Oh my God, he caught a smallmouth in the pond. Well, I am going there today. The weather is 80 degrees and I'm gonna go there today and see if there's any more smallmouth bass. And again, I've been fishing for about 20 years in ponds and I never, never, ever caught a smallmouth in one of those ponds. And when I caught it in the last episode, I was so excited and I'm gonna go back there today and see if there's any bigger ones because that was a smaller one. Hopefully there's bigger ones in there. I'm going to use the Senko again on the Wacky Rig just because that bait seems like it just works wonders and miracles and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the golf course today and see if we can get some, some more largemouth bass, maybe another smallmouth. All right guys, let's do this. Hey everybody, I just got to the um, spot, the pond. As you can see, there's no water flowing in there. So it should be a quiet day today. But the only bad thing about it is there is moss kind of on the bank. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Got a Senko on here on a wacky rig. Let's see if we can catch something. I'm pretty sure we will, just because the water's calm. It hasn't rained in a while, so it's pretty clear. And yeah, I just think it's gonna be a good day of fishing. Right, I caught that smallmouth right in the area over where the trees are. He was just sitting there on my last catch. He did a flip too when I caught him too, so. Hopefully there's more of them in here. I just think, oh, there's one. First fish on the, oh, no. Missed that. I miss. Well, yeah, I just missed the fish on the first cast. There is bass everywhere in this pond. That wasn't my fault. Oh my, I just, I felt him hit it. Then I didn't let him take it long enough. Then I pulled up and kind of ripped it out of its mouth. But anyways, back to that small mouth. Someone must've put it in there cause they just don't live in these ponds. I don't know if there's a sewer there's a creek around here or a stream where they do and the rainwater pushed it in, but in my opinion, I just think somebody put them in here. Come on, there's one. Got him, stay on here. I gotta get him away from the rocks. He's pulling. They fight pretty good too and they're just small, but don't go in the grass. God, I hate that when they do that. I gotta get over here. Hopefully he doesn't break the line. These stupid rocks are everywhere. Now he's stuck in all this grass. Get it out of the grass. Now he's running my line against the rocks. This is great. Okay, we got him. Here we go, first fish of the day. Surprised my line didn't break because all the grass on it and all the rocks. All right, let's get this out. hooks you right on top of the mouth, buddy. When you swallowed this thing. Look at that. He literally swallowed this. Let's try to get this out of his mouth. There we go, first fish of the day. On my line, and I only have six pound test, and the fish pulling with grass and running against rocks, it's not gonna be a good thing because it's gonna basically snap my line. So, we got one fish already. Gonna kinda move over here to the left. Maybe, because there's grass everywhere. Um, I really don't wanna fight that grass again. I mean, it's not grass, it's moss. But I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna try to bring him over here to the sewer. If I throw in that direction, there has to be plenty of bass in there. I bet you I get one on this cast. If not, I'll be shocked. Yeah, that's a good one. Don't jump. Oh, he jumped. I knew that when he jumped. Gosh. I knew that when he was gonna jump, he was gonna shake it. I don't know why, but with this rig, they, every time they jump, they shake it. So that's two fish I lost today. But I don't care, that's fun, I'm fighting. There's like fireflies or, I forget what they're called. <laughs> I should know what they're called. But there's like, but I forget, I don't know, fireflies, dragons, or ever. Something in this bass, are, they're laying on the water and the bass keep jumping at them. So if I had a top water here too, that would work. But I think the Senko is the best bait, bait to use. Dragonflies are what they're called. Yeah, dragonflies. So that little critter challenge I used. Guys, there should be 
monster fish that will hit those little insects. But um, I just think a Senko will work perfect here and it is so far. I'm gonna go over in the shade area to the right, just because the spot to the left, they stopped buying, but the bad thing about it here, there's a lot of moss here. If I get a big and then it runs into this moss, my line might snap. But we'll see if they're over here. There's one. Stay on, don't jump. Stay on. There you go. Good, he jumped, but he stayed on. Gonna get him out of this water. No, don't go in the grass, see? Stay. Okay, second fish of the day. Stay. It's a good size too. And he spit my Senko. Oh well. So I caught him on the, on the side of the mouth. That's where it looks like if you catch them on the side of the mouth and they jump, they can't shake the hook. It's just like hard to get out for me anyways. The heck? There we go. It's out. All right. Second fish of the day, guys. Right there. Just same size as the first one. Off the Senko. See ya. We should have six. No, we should have five because we missed what? Three of them? Four of them? I don't know. But oh well. At least we got two of them. I'm not using too big of a Senko. Just one of those little smaller ones. Oh, the Bass Pro brand, and it seems like it seems like the work. They like the work, and I caught that fish on my first cast over here. Let's see if we can go two for two. I think they are huddling up in this shade just because it's pretty hot. It's about like 88 degrees out, almost 90 degrees. Try to flip this in the shade. See if there's um, any bass laying there. I don't want to get caught in the trees. I did get it in the shade. Should be something in there. Just chilling, waiting on something to eat. Cause I know when these bass see this uh, Senko in there, they just attack, ambush it. They don't care if they're hungry or not. <laughs> they doing a little Ned rig. So let's see if this works. I got on a Senko, but it's kind of broken but I don't care they'll bite anything I think they just want they're on the bottom just because it's so hot out Let's see if we can, whoa freaking snake <laughs> screw those snakes man right where um I don't know just went in the grass like in the water so I hate snakes and I can't stand them so I'm gonna get a fish get a couple of fish out here and get out of here here's one I think it's a fish I can't tell <sighs> Oh, there we go. Come in here, buddy. I'll jump. There's a small one off the Ned rig. Maybe it might be a head with a small mouth. Nope. Well, you go, little Deidre, sitting over there. Yeah, look at that perfect. Ah, oh, he fin me. Oh, yeah. Yes. I like when they fin me. Get that big spike in my finger. Okay, right there, look at that perfect cast. Catch, hook set, and you're ready to go, Argy. Okay, that's three fish of the day. Doing pretty darn good. I, 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 um, there was a moment there where I thought I was done and the fish weren't gonna bite, but I keep throwing this right by that log and I think I got a bite and I just caught that fish there, so hopefully there's more there. It's kind of deeper water. So this net rig does hit the bottom. What I'm doing with the net rig is basically dragging it between rocks and stuff. And once they see that, they're gonna, they'll go nuts over it. Oh man. Wow, so yeah, it is really, really hot outside. I had to call it a day just because it's like 93, 94 degrees outside. I've been out there for about an hour and a half, two hours. I caught three bass. I also missed three bass too, and the sweat keeps getting in my eyes. So I decided to call it a day. So yeah, that's about it for today's exciting episode. Um, 
I just want to let you guys know I will be posting, this is the first episode, three more bass episodes before I do a fish tank aquarium. I'm going to do a fish tank aquarium once or twice a week, then four to five bass episodes a week. So I try to get between four and seven episodes a week for you guys. So yeah, that's about it for today's exciting episode. If you can do me a huge favor and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. And as always, catch big fish. Have a great day.